He's not too happy right now. Those vibrations like that are going to attract stuff that he doesn't want to attract. Oh. There we go. Welcome to Road Ventures Hawaii, I'm Nick Morris. This is what we do. Like and subscribe, boys. What is up? Good morning, my Mitch crew. I overslept, big time. I was supposed to be out very, it's like six o'clock in the morning right now. Uh, well, what is up? Good morning, my Mitch crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Road Ventures Hawaii. It's your first time here, welcome on board. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Uh, it's time to use the beat from yesterday and go on with fishing. If you haven't seen that video yet with the kitchen the bait and going getting the bait for today, click up there to one of the corners right there. Click up there and watch the video from yesterday and then come back and watch this video again. But let's put everything in the truck, let's get ready to go. Got her being down there. I want to be fishing already, but I already got like two hours of sleep. So let's put everything in the truck, let's go fishing. I can't think right now. Literally just brush, brush my teeth. Uh, but if it is your first time here, and you want to subscribe, you want to see a dolphin, hit the like button. See the dolphin there. Every time you hit a like, you see a dolphin. Every time you subscribe, you hit a dolphin. Let me finish loading the truck, and we'll be gone. And we got our baits. They should be, oh, should be crispy still yet. All right, everybody, here we go. So unfortunately, I got everything loaded in the back of the truck. I forgot my watch, which sucks. But my bait management skills are terrible. Remember yesterday I was talking about I was catching the baits, bait management, you gotta watch your baits, you can't overfill your bucket, watch how much baits you got, right? Maybe my number of baits wasn't too bad. I think I got home, I think I had like 16 or so, somewhere around there. My goal was shooting for like 12 to 14. I actually had more than 16, surprisingly, because when in the middle of the dark, after I went to get my truck, I went to go put fresh water in my bucket, right by where I was parked, and I had like two or three swim out. I was like, this is awesome, I'm losing baits, awesome. But I had more than I thought, so it wasn't too bad, I guess. I just relocated them a little bit. So, um, I had a bait die last in the bucket, I guess, at some point in the bucket. So, my I have a bunch of baits still left, I only have one die. So, my bucket's kind of polluted right now. The water is very, very dirty right now. It's very, very foggy, the water stinks. So, I have to hurry up and get to the beach without speeding, flush out the water and put new fresh water in there, because... With a water like that, it'd probably last me about another couple hours or so, at least, before you start, start really dropping off. So, bait management is key. If, if I was going to keep them for a couple days, I would probably have another bucket of water just, just to keep them for another another day. It's like 24, one bucket for 24 hours, if you have like a, about 12 to maybe 15 beats, 16 beats, somewhere around there. But uh, let's get to the beach. It's early. Let's get our fish on. It's gonna be good today, I think. I don't know where we're going yet. It's gonna be good though. It's gonna be real good, I promise you. All right, I'll see you guys at the beach. But if you haven't already, hit the like button. Give this video a like, give me some good luck. Cause we're already running late. All right, boy, see you at the beach. All right, so here, so it's a super rocky area. So I highly suggest hobbies. I never went to a rocky area. Using it. I put a link in my bio. Get my high fish gear, sell them. Good stuff, good stuff. Hopefully I didn't miss that morning bite. I wanted to be here when the sun's coming up, but two hours sleep got the better of me. Real fast. Ah. So we got our bait. I'll show you how dirty the water is. Ah. 
so water super dirty they're all in there super good I'm gonna grab all my crap put all my stuff on and uh, it's time to go for a walk all right bye. see you on the trail so like I said before like I always say remember kind of bucket full of water and everything else I dumped some water out. I still got some water in there but like I always say the farther the walk the better the fishing I promise you the farther you go the more effort you put into it the better the fish will be because five out of ten guys won't go out there They're like it's too much work I ain't carrying all my crap out there I'm walking all the way out there to that point out there I walked about 300 yards already with all my gear Probably walk another three, four hundred yards. So, eh, it's a little bit of a walk. It's not like fishing in the back of your truck, but I promise you, the further the walk, the better fishing. Let's get out there. Okay, let's get our first bait of the day. All right, let's go. All right, first day of the day. All our faith is on you, little guy. Now we just wait. Now we just wait. Now check our drags, make sure our drags are good. Pretty much just watch our float. Oh, I got a bite array. Where my float is, I got a bite reel. Oh, came off. It's really in. That was fast. I got a bite array, but it's I think my bait's gone. Oh no, my bait's still there. So when you're trying to bring in a bait, you want to slow retrieve, yeah. You don't want to full blast or smoke it in and have your bait rip off or break off because you saw how hard these things are to catch how precious they are. It's swimming up right. The liveliest of baits, that's for sure. That's a deep bait number two. Oh, that's a feisty one. That's a feisty one. We got ourselves a fighter here, boys. Stop moving, stop knocking on fire scales. There we go. That guy's ready to go. That guy's ready to go. That guy there to be ready to go. Alright, give him a little swim. Oh my god. That is what you call light bait, baby. Oh, that was a bad cast. I want to go that way, not that way. And stay tuned to the end of this video. And we'll announce the winner from last week, uh, Saturday's uh, video. The Aku Eye Lord giveaway. Those flies. We'll actually pick two winners today. And I'll mail them out to you guys free of charge. It's been about five minutes with nothing, so let's check that bait. Bait is dead too. I don't want to die so fast, I didn't get a bite on it. I'm still alive, kind of. Okay, let's cast them out. What the hell? Why do you rip off? Ah! The eye of my pole just broke. Awesome. My left side stuck now. So it's like the worst of luck ever right there what just happened. I went to cast, my line got snagged on the front. And when I casted, my bait went flying, but my line got all tangled on the tip. That sucks. So my lead broke off, which sucks. You only have a couple lead. What also sucks is the eye of my pole broke. Oh man. Would be today. It would be today. Honestly, it's just this real easy, simple ghetto fix right here. You just get some, some super glue and you super glue that guy back in. But we don't have time for that. We don't have super glue on us today. I gotta cut this off now. I gotta cut this off to get this eye out. Uh -huh. I'll be right back. I'll be back. Issues, my bait pump died. 
that's never a good thing. So now we really gotta hurry up. I gotta have to change out this water probably in the next like half an hour or so. Oh man. I thought I heard it died this morning. I was like, ah, I think there's enough battery. Nope. So as you can see how everything's going so far today, this isn't an ideal fishing trip. You know what I mean? Things don't always work out the way you hope. You just gotta make the best of the situation when fishing. So don't give up. Don't let it discourage you. Nothing ever works out as it seems, okay? You watch my videos, they go, oh, it's always perfect. You always listen to, no, no, I edit a lot of crappy stuff out. Look at this, I'm not gonna edit, I'm gonna show you guys all the crappy stuff that happens today. He's not too happy right now. Those vibrations like that are gonna attract stuff that he doesn't want to attract. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, came off. Came off. Probably didn't sit, the hook probably wasn't set good. Oh, I don't know what that was. That was a good bite. Still got my hook, still got my lead. Let's go put another one on. That's the bite we're looking for too. I don't know what it was. If it was easy, all your friends would be doing it. So we have like, oh, I don't know why I say we. I'm the only one. There's nobody is here. It's only me. So I have three baits left. Today is definitely fishing and not catching. That's why they call it fishing. And that's why your friends don't do it because it's it's not easy. <laughs> oh, I had some poor luck today. I don't know why. It's not gonna lose focus. Keep our focus. We know we're trying to accomplish here today. We're trying to catch something. We know that for sure. We're trying to get that bite. The tug is the drug. So I have three baits left. Hopefully those three baits can make something happen. But we gotta catch something. We're not giving up yet. It's about 8.30 now, maybe nine o'clock. Don't lose focus. Keep the focus. And 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 like like I said earlier, you know, kind of like second guessing yourself, like, nah, nah I wish I should went to the other spot maybe. You know what I mean? Don't second guess yourself because you'll be kicking yourself all day long. You know what I mean? So I'm not second guessing myself, but I know this is the right decision to come over here. Just gonna put our time in, that's all. Put our time in. So far you guys are just around fishing. Don't lose focus, don't give up, don't get frustrated. That's fishing, it's not catching, okay? All right, here we go, boys. The problem is you guys didn't give me no thumbs up yet. If you guys haven't hit the thumbs up or like button yet, I'm not getting a good luck. Hit the thumbs up, save a dolphin. Let's catch some fish, boys. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Ah! All right, let's go. Small baits, which is more ideal for what we're trying to catch. Small baits are better. Especially for this type of fishing. I don't think there's any big dozers. Well, there's probably some dozers over here, but we're not trying to be greedy. We're just trying to get a bite. We're trying to get something. We're trying to show you guys the struggle today. We're trying to show you guys the struggle today. How much fun the struggle is. This is struggle fishing today. With the best bait in the world for a white sword fishing. Okay. Get a good bite to stick. That's right, though. This is part of the game. This is how the game is played. It's about 8 30 or they've been for over an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And we got one good bite, our first initial bite, and that was it. After that, it's been pretty, pretty bad luck, pretty bad timing. All it takes is one piece to turn it all around, though. So turn your frown upside down. There's still the bite, boys. And girls, and girls. I'm gonna check it, a floater underneath, so that's typically a, 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 a bad sign, a real bad sign. Our bait's gone again! Yes, sir. Uh, the next one we're gonna hook in the nose. Hook it next to the old nose. We're going back to the old school, what I know works. I like the vibrations that are hooked in the back, but come on, way too easy. Way too easy. Uh, tell you what, when stuff isn't in your favor, it's not in your favor. We have one bait left. Because this guy decided to jump out and commit suicide right here. Why would you do that to me? This is it for our bait right here. Unbelievable. The amount of non-action 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable today. That's right. Making that effort, boys. We're not giving up yet. We're not giving up yet. We cast our last day. Same place we cast our first day. Where we got that nice little strike at first. Same place. Just gotta wait. Not giving up yet. We're not giving up yet. Come too far to give up. You have a million baits. All I need that one bite. Just so happens it's gonna be our last bait that's gonna get that one bite. It's fine though, we'll take it. Well, let's bring it in and see if we still got a bait. I would have to say that that was literally the hardest day of fishing I've had in a long time. Rough, rough, rough. See, like anything I did, anything I did was wrong. I had my bait pump die, I died of my pole break. I broke line a couple times. I missed my, my first initial strike, right? That was probably the good fish that we wanted. And honestly, that's just fishing, I mean. That's, that's just how fishing is. You can't get defeated, you can't get defeated. Today sucked, but I'll be back again, I'll be back again. I don't have to say I'm stumped. I had some of the best light beat there was and couldn't do anything with it. Terrible. All right, everybody. Sorry to leave you on a sour note that there was no real action today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I think it would have been better if some of you guys would have saved some dolphins, but some of you guys want to hold back on the, the thumbs up dolphin saving action going on today. But I guess we'll end it there. Thanks for fishing with me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Just goes to show you that not every day is a catching day. As always, tight lines, stay fishing, and I'll see you on the water. Hello, everyone. I have to go to work.